In the sporting world, the United States is generally regarded as a powerhouse. But in the world's game of soccer, the U.S. men are still considered underdogs. This week, USA will face a familiar foe, the inventors of the game, England. Fox 2's Jordan Williams brings us back to the summer of 1950 in Brazil to tell us about five St. Louis soccer players who were part of one of the biggest upsets in sports history. What's going on right now? Morrow, up to self. When you think of the greatest upset sports moment in United States history, what comes to mind? You believe in miracles? Yes! It's probably this one, the miracle on ice in Lake Placid, New York at the 1980 Winter Olympics. But have you heard of the miracle on grass? It was one of the greatest sports uh, upsets in the world. On June 29th at the 1950 World Cup in Belo Horizonte, Brazil. It was unbelievable. USA, England, 1-0 to the red, white, and blue. It was phenomenal. You know, nobody knew that this could happen. A scoreline so unusual at the time, some did not believe it. And they thought it was a misprint. They never thought that the United States would ever beat, you know, England. Former United States men's national team member Ty Keogh is familiar with the game. Well, I know quite a bit about it because my dad played in it. Harry Keogh, Ty's dad, along with fellow St. Louisans Frank Borgie, Charlie Colombo, Gino Periani, and Frank Wallace all played in the game on a team made up of semi-professionals. Play against England, you know, they, they used to run this place. They used to run the U.S. England was a heavy favorite heading into the tournament with three to one odds to lift the cup. The United States had lost its previous seven games with a combined score of 45 to two. Despite the odds, the U.S. would score the only goal of the game on a 38th minute header from Joe Gaetjens. Ty's dad, Harry, along with Borgie, Colombo, Periani, and Wallace have all been inducted into the St. Louis Soccer Hall of Fame and the game against England would later be turned into a film, the game of their lives. It's extremely special for our whole family. I mean, we, we miss our dad, and, and we, we know he was a part of a huge accomplishment for U.S. soccer and also a, a huge upset in the world of sport. And we'll be all together, in fact, uh, watching the USA against England this Friday. Two more United States soccer players, Josh Sargent and Tim Ream, will be carrying the St. Louis flag at this year's World Cup. When they introduce Tim Ream and Josh Sargent, they'll say from St. Louis, Missouri. And that's, that's the pride that everybody is hoping for. 72 years later, and the United States finds themselves in a similar spot this Friday against England as the underdog. Could lightning strike twice? And can St. Louis play another role in a major World Cup upset? In St. Louis, Jordan Williams, Fox 2 News.